Okay, we're here at the Chatham Air Show 2015. Peter. Hey, Nick. The jet's not blue. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you, t you said no more blue. I said, okay, no more And that's blue. it. We're not going to have any more blue jets. Now, this is, you told me earlier, this is a diamond experimental jet. Mm -hmm. This looks really fast. It is fast, yeah. We clocked it this morning at um, 142 and a half meters per second, which ref converts to 513 kilometers oh, an hour. Oh my God, you're kidding. Does it handle at that speed or is it yes. more or less a straight yeah, well, line speed? Yeah, I have speed? help because I have a three axis gyro. Okay. So that really helps to stabilize it. And what does what the three axis gyro well, do? Well, it operates ailerons, rudder and elevator. It takes out any rocking of the plane or any yawing of the Which plane. Which makes it easier to fly Which for makes you, it so more it stable. more yeah. stable, yeah. The fact that this is a high tail, um, the tendency of a high tail tip type of aircraft is that it, at, uh, when it's flying, it begins to fish tail. Oh, okay. So the gyro takes that out. What type of motor is this? Because this, you know, I heard you turn it on earlier. Right. It sounded a little louder than regular. It's a Biotech 220, so it's uh, 50 pounds of thrust. It's louder because it's not as deep into the plane, it's in the tail. And you have a very short tailpipe. Yeah, so I can see really, that. Yeah, it's a yeah. lot It's a lot further so back. So it becomes quite loud when, you know, because it's such a short tailpipe. This is a kit, and this is from France. Yes. Uh, it's made by Aviation Design. Okay. It's designed by Aviation Design, but it's manufactured in the Czech Republic. And it's available through AltaCare as Correct. well. Yeah, I've got a, a telemetry system, so it transmits to my spotter all the information, like how much fuel is left, what's the speed, the battery voltages. It's a little display, and it gives you all the parameters, latitude, longitude, altitude, and you can log all of that and download it to a computer, and you can actually plot it against Google Maps, so you can see where you flew. It's very nice because, especially the fuel, because it tells me how much fuel I have left. Although I have a timer, mm -hmm. but it's also nice to get the fuel capacity okay. left. Yeah, and then you can have an idea, yeah. What's it like to fly? It's very smooth, actually, surprisingly smooth. Actually, it's too smooth for my liking because of the gyros. Mm -hmm. So I've been dialing them down, dialing them down. It's just too stable. And I like my planes a little bit more agile. So this one really fights me sometimes because it wants to stay in the, you know, like solid. But it's very docile to fly and it lands at a crawl, really lands slow. Okay, I'm here with Peter. How you doing, Nick? We've known each other, what, 10 years? At least 10, yeah. And you've known Peter Aosh for 10 years. Oh, yeah, I've known Pete. Uh, I remember Pete, I think, in a Bay of Quinte jet rally when he started there. Was asking all sorts of questions, how we do it, you know, what's going on, and look at him today. Yeah, look at him today. You know, Pete's one of our, you know, shining stars, right? I mean, he's taking the hobby to the almost the upper limit where he's supplying the rest of the community with, you know, high-end jets, high-end turbines, and. And what I like about Pete is he comes out to an event like this and he actually supports us, right? You yeah. Know, he puts on great shows and, you know, he's a good champion for the hobby. Like the plane for that size, it's three meters long. So the plane is 41 and a half pounds. Fully fueled, I'm about 48 pounds, wow, that's 48 and a half, and it's still more than one to one power to weight ratio because I'm wow. 50 pounds of thrust. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Well, you know what, Peter? Let's not waste any more time, folks. Let's go, Let's go see this plane up in the air. Let's go fly. Let's get out there. Come on. Well, Nick, it looks like uh, my servo tape worked a little better than Peter's Velcro method. What do you think? I definitely think so. I mean, I can't even move it. I mean, you're going to have a hard time taking this off. I'm going to tilt the plane back like this. You are not going to be able to get this off. Okay. 